Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, welcome to our Coffee Break. Look who's joining us today, Peter Mezzett of Weston Nurseries. We're so happy to have you back. Thanks for having me. It's such a busy time, you know, spring and everything that goes on at the nursery, but even more is going on given uh, the big plans that you're here to tell us about. You just put a new greenhouse in too, right? Yeah, I was in a bobcat this morning doing the <laughs> site work around there, trying to get it all done. We're trying to get that so it's done by next weekend. Wow, because yeah. there's something else coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah. Well, a so. little something coming little up. Something, yeah. We're so excited. I've, I've just heard snippets, but looking forward to hearing more about this. This is, this is um, a big first. But for anybody new to the show yes, and just doesn't know anything about you, so you've lived in Hopkinton. All my life. Well, technically I was born... Yeah. yeah, that's okay. <laughs> still a townie. You're a townie. Um, yeah. And you're the proud owner of Weston. Hard Street. owner. My dad owns it yep. still more than I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'm you're running still it. making you earn your equity? Yep, yep. <laughs> you're running it. When I said right, he was in a morning. bobcat this morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I can tell I'm running it. I, I, I called you a farmer by mistake. You corrected me right away. I'm not really a farmer. I do get up early. Not that early. <laughs> okay, yeah. And I can go on vacations. Oh, good, good, yeah. good, good. So, okay. yeah, we have a great management team. It's running well. Very proud of everybody there. And, um, we've been doing well, and that's why we're now able to put some capital You do back so much the for the town. Absolutely. But your kids are here growing up here in town. You have yep, two, three. Three. I three. can't remember. I got a sophomore Bryant, freshman at Penn State, and a sophomore in high school. Oh, wow. I was going to say, wow. I thought there was still, I, yep. I keep thinking. So you still got a little side. one. Yeah. <laughs> so sophomore in high school. Love yeah. it. So two in college. Wow. Yeah. So you're soon going to be an empty nester in two years. I know. Well, we got some time. But the youngest <laughs> yeah. doesn't really like being the only child too much. <laughs> Awesome. She copes with us. Before we get into the to the, the big uh, spectacular, um, what, what's new on the on the spring front at Weston Nurseries? What sort of the well, hot this thing? new greenhouse is going to allow us to um, flatten out our business a little bit, maybe mm. get more people to come see us. So it's going to be a little haven for plants, oh, like year in round. The year yeah. round in the winter time. It'll be warm in there. It'll be a nice place to visit. And house plants are just so popular yeah. right now. Yeah, that's yeah. Just, I'm a green thumb on the house plant. You know, it's really funny. Back in the 80s, the whole fern bar and everybody had plants. Right. And then it tapered off, and mm. now it's coming back. Yeah. I love it. I've always been a plant I know. Oh, person. my kids, I, have, I mean, they're decorating their apartments with I plants. I have tons like we of did plants back in, in my day, the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Succulents like, are the biggest with the kids. They, yes. You know, my daughter yes. bought well, because nine of them easy for care. a college dorm. Exactly. So. Easy care. Easy care. <laughs> and the yeah. ones that, the, 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 the little things now with that air. Oh, the air plants, the yeah. bromeliads and all that. Yeah. I love And those. you've done some terranium workshops. Yeah, so our customers I, are telling us, do more workshops yeah. oh, so, okay. and seminars. But we've got this guy, Bart Krug, and he is so creative. And he'll, he'll do 50 workshops throughout the year now, all sorts of themes and topics. So you said this new greenhouse, right. people come in. Will there be also seating areas? Are you imagining Not just so a little? Much. We're really going to cram it pretty tight. Are you? Uh, okay. The other one, we're keeping, we have this old greenhouse yep, 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 range. That's, that's going to be I'm the, I love that little spot. Yeah. That's going to be mm -hmm. boutique. There'll be some, you know, decorative products in okay. there. This one will be just, just color spilling right out the Ooh. front. A lot of benches hanging, uh, bars going across with hanging baskets hanging down. Okay. It's just going to seem like, you ever go to the restaurant, um, What's, it, what's that restaurant oh, called? Um, Rain, uh, Rain oh, Forest, Rainforest Forest Cafe. Cafe. Yeah. I never even thought, wow. Like that. <laughs> what's the time You're going to have our, our artificial thunder. And <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, we will have music in there. So oh, we'll right. music around just so we always have Benches some nice ambiance. <laughs> and, uh, we'll walk it around. But no, you're going to walk, you're going to push a cart right through okay. there. It's going to yeah. be more that feel. And we have three doors on it. Okay. Automatic doors. Okay, cool. So we've never had that either. Yeah, That's I was going to cool. say. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. What, what's the estimated timeline for this? Next weekend. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I want it to be, well, we have really? to build the benches, put the bars up for the hanging baskets, but I think we'll have so enough in there for next weekend. And then we'll do a, we'll do a, a soft opening. We'll do a harder, we'll do oh, an wow. announcement. I think you were way away from it. Mom. Very That's cool. Fabulous. Yeah. Very cool. We started it last fall. We got the... The floor done, the radiant okay. floor heating under the cement done, the posts in. <gasps> Thank goodness we got that done before winter oh. because oh right. then we Worst were able to finish ever. this before spring. <laughs> yeah. yes. If we were working on this in May, it would be a disaster yeah. for our business. So yeah. we'll, get it, we'll get it done before busy season. Good, good. Exciting. So cool. Exciting. And then you've got, is it time to talk about the fun stuff? So this actually <laughs> kind of spurred off the event in the fall. Because right. Ted Twiney, who moved into town, started Startline. You guys kind of connected through the chamber. Yeah. Yeah. And did that um, 
the brew Bloom's fest. Brews the brews and that barbecue. was fun. Yeah. And that was a fundraiser for the Jimmy Fund. Okay. Right. Right. And that did really well. Drew about 900 people. Wow. We did not pre-sell tickets. We didn't know how much we could fit with parking, but we found out we can fit more than 900. And they're not all there at one time. No, it's a seven right. or eight hour right. event. So we're kind of doing the same type of thing, although this will be more like nine hours. It's 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So back up. Yeah, but give them the, yeah. the day. It's the on, yeah, it's, this one, this is a fundraiser for the 26.2 Foundation. We're calling it the Marathon Spectacular. Yeah. And Ted Twinney approached me after talking to Tim Kilduff um, about hosting this kind of event. I said, why not on Patriots Day? Because we can't do any business anyway. Right. So it's right. a great thing for outreach to the community. So that we Monday can do to of the marathon. Yeah, marathon yep. day. Seven to four. Seven to four. You got to get there. If you want to drive and park easily mm -hmm. down the main street, you got to get there before seven. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're, Otherwise, you're going to have to way. follow my directions, which are very clear on, on the, the website. event landing page of our website. Yeah. 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 When you buy the tickets, it has a thing for directions. Yeah. So yeah. It, once you, you go in to get your tickets, and they want pre-sales, mm -hmm. and it's very affordable. It's 20 bucks a head. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. You can stay there all day, and we'll, we'll have free Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Ooh. Uh, food is a la carte. Great, yep. great food selection. Snappy Dogs yeah. will be there. Snappy Dogs is one of them. <laughs> and then the bands, the music alone is worth that money, especially we have John Cafferty yeah. coming oh. in. He, he yeah. charges double that when he has a concert. So. Really? And then, um, you know, there's beer and wine. Marty's is involved. Yep. Start Line's involved. So Ted, back up a little bit. Ted approached me, and, and we're Western Nurseries and, and Start Line are founding corporate sponsors for the 26.2 right. Foundation. Oh, okay. So we're really trying to get behind that organization with particular interest in the International Marathon Center being right. built here someday. Yeah. And this is the real, I, I would call this the real first big fundraiser event mm -hmm. yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then Marty's is coming in as a sponsor for this event. For the wine and everything else. Yeah, wine, Prosecco. So it's a one-day liquor license, wine. no liquor. It's beer yep. and alcohol, beer and wine, mm -hmm. or yep. champagne, Prosecco type stuff. Yeah. And Marty's has been terrific. Oh, They've lined great. up their suppliers. And they're all going to come in and pour. And oh, awesome. There'll be mixed drinks like mimosas and a few other yeah, yeah. special secret ones that we're going to come up with. Fun I mean, party I think on uh, Marathon, marathon Day. I mean, yeah. that's yeah, uh, you exactly. know, a, a wine I think one of, the things that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. one of the things that stood out to me when we were discussing that at a chamber meeting, and this was all coming up, you know, right away I think about things like uh, TJ Spirits where there's always been a party going on and music. And so, was that this is more than just a party. This um, is featuring businesses in town. But it's also very family oriented. So the Metro West Y is actually embraced into this. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Scott, um, who is the executive director of Hoppington, has decided Scott he, he yeah. is um, built it, is, is putting in a whole kids zone okay. of the activities. So you can actually bring your family, have things to do with your kids. There'll also be the thing, the, the, the beanbag cornhole. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Cornhole yeah. for the kids, and then there's going to be a, a cornhole tournament. As yeah. well. Oh, for the girls. I love it. The Y is going to run that. So the Y is managing the whole game oh, kids area for okay. us. And we've got about 40 volunteers, either from the Y or from TED. TED's bringing about 30 of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Checking people in. So Wristbanding people. Yeah, and just being, yeah, yeah. so if you're 21 or older, you're going to get a blue wristband. Mm -hmm. If you're 13 to 21, you'll get a yellow wristband. If you're under, if you're 12 under, it's free. Yeah. There's no yeah. charge. Yeah. And you can come and go, um, just not with, you can't bring drinks right. outside the big fenced-in area mm -hmm. that we'll yeah. have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the Y is going to manage. So we've got the Y. We've got five organizations that are going to participate. We've got the, the Y. 26.2 Foundation is going to set up a table and explain mm -hmm. what their goals are. The Chamber. The Chamber. Mm -hmm. And the Metro West Visitors Bureau will be oh, there. Oh, yeah, Susan so, Nichols. Mm -hmm. And she's awesome. Yep. And I'm missing another one. I'm missing another one. <laughs> so I'm going to we'll, forget. We'll get it up there yeah. on the list. Oh, BNI. 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 Oh, BNI. Oh, BNI. Oh, great. Okay. It's going to be there, but no businesses. Okay. There will be one, I think her name is Linda Waters. She is oh, yeah, an entrepreneur. Oh, contra right. she she does does her. She's going to do that. Because she does the beads for the foundation. This is, yep. the, this is actually the 26.2 bead. I oh, have cool. it. I'm not she wearing sells, it. But, yeah. Um, yeah. And these were, um, but yeah, she Love was the one her. we talked about at the chamber that yep. needs to be there. She also does all the merchandise for them. So right. there's so t-shirts, t -shirts. There's cinch bags, everything. Yep. So she'll be allowed to. Because it's all in support of the 26.2. Yeah, right. And then yes. Ted also has T-shirts. Yeah. Tony's Start got line, yeah. uh, Startline co-branded because he's a corporate sponsor. Uh, T-shirts and souvenir cups. Yeah. Oh, cool. So this whole event's kind of, uh, I'll call it, taking on kind of a, a higher quality yeah. image yeah. because of these kind of yeah. dissipation. Well, and there'll be and food trucks there or, or different food, food vendors? Food trucks are going to be, let me see if I can get them all. you got Snappy Dogs, obviously. <laughs> Uh, we've got Yummy Mummy from Westboro. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. They're okay. going to do breakfast as well as lunch items. Great. 
Um, Got a cue barbecue, which I guess oh, is like number one. Wow. Yeah. They won all the Did you have barbecue at the other one? That they, yeah. That, yeah, that was this that one was wasn't a hit. there. This okay. one's yeah. coming to this. I, I don't okay. know these guys, but um, mm -hmm. they'll do. I don't know what they're gonna do for breakfast, but they are doing breakfast <laughs> as well as <laughs> barbecue, barbecue and stuff. eggs. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, then we have Anzios. Yeah, pizza, oh. pizza. Everybody loves the Anzios. Yep. So the, the fire burning pizza. Fire burning, pizza. Fire burning yeah, that yeah. big portable nice. unit. Yep. It's, it's, so it's actually kind of cool thing to watch. And yeah. you can order whole pizzas or slices yeah. or whatever from them. Um, and then say cheese, grilled cheese is going to okay. be there. Mm. I think that's it. Might be missing yeah. one. Yeah. Well, we'll then you have live music, awesome. a lot of bands. And then four bands. So we know of four and maybe a fifth. If the bluegrass band calls me like they always do, I'll have the bluegrass music <laughs> yeah. during the running while the runners yep. go by. That's been going on there for yeah. 20 years. I just don't know who they are. So yeah. they should show up again. <laughs> they don't. We'll fill in with the something mystery else. Guys. <laughs> mystery band. Uh, well, the banjo. <laughs> they usually play right out by the street, but we've got a, a big stage. Mm -hmm. um, and after the bluegrass, we'll have the uh, Doo-wop shop. Oh, Steve the, yes, Spectre's son, son oh, Mike. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. They're playing so for 45 great. minutes or so. They're an a cappella group. They're yeah, great that's great so group popular. That you've never heard yeah. them. Yep. They're amazing. And then we kick it in with Steve after that, maybe around 11 Hot or so. Steve Hot or acoustics. Hot Acoustics? Hot Acoustics. The okay. whole band. Yeah, cool. the whole band. Um, and then we've got Steve Smith and the Nakeds. Who are pretty good. They are good. They have a following. I've never they heard of them. They come out of Rhode Island, don't They're they? They're Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah. I've yep. heard of Rhode Island. <laughs> yep. And then we got the big headliner, which is John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown. And everybody, so cool. I ask, half the people have heard of them, half have. Oh, but if, yeah. You, if, if you're our age, you usually you've know. Heard of them. Yeah. And if you're our age, you've like heard of them. Sounds like Bruce Springsteen. Everybody says, I yes. thought that was Bruce Springsteen. So he's like, no, so no, no, no. He's had some real good news. Actually. He's had top number one hits. So you can be there enjoying all of this, and you can be cheering on the runners. Yeah, right? we'll have, I mean, it's all the We've got a thing. great production guy mm -hmm. that's, that, that um, Steve Spector brought in, and we're going to set up television so you can watch yeah. where you're, you know, if, you're, right, if yeah, you got the app, you'll know if somebody's going to cross the finish line, you'll be able to see it. Right, okay. Oh, watch they're gonna the, the race. Finish line, and they'll yeah. have, of course, the elite runners. Yep. Oh, It'll probably perfect. be on WBZ, whatever yeah. they show. Oh, it's, oh yep. it's going to be the place to be. And then the production guys just handling everything, whether it's staging or lights or drum it. sets that they need. So that's all wow. being taken care of. And that's I mean, so fun. This is also um, wraps around the initiative that, which is also another fundraiser for 26 Million 2 and the Chamber's working on, are those banners that are going to run from Ash Street just mm. past your location that are all new this year. And they're all, and the net proceeds for that is also for 26 Million yep. 2. Yep, yeah. yep. They go up next week, I think. Yep. So RHH, we're proud to be yes. uh, have one of the banners, as mm -hmm. well as many other groups and businesses. Yeah. And Chamber members. Yeah, thanks we to our one. community sponsors, we bought one That's the from only our way we community can. sponsors. That's but the and um, but it really has been kind of a community pulled together for this event and kind of embracing it, and it also gets people off that common because it it by ten o'clock it's there's nothing going mm -hmm. on there. It's done. People do scatter. Yeah. yeah. This town just. Right. Empties out. Oh and gosh, but it's me. a day off. It's a holiday. Right. It's kind of so a St. Paddy's Day feel to <laughs> yeah, it, right? Yeah, right, right, right. So they go somewhere. Right, right, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. And uh, this will be a going. great option for after the race for people yeah. to come down. And once again, you, yeah, you can get there four. during the race, no problem, but right. it'll be even easier after the race. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. you guys have had, um, you know, they've had to work very closely with the BAA for this event. And that it's a BAA sanctioned event, which means the same thing as when you show up at the Common. You have to go through bag check. You can only bring so many things. So if you're looking to be a spectator at the Boston Marathon but going to here and you see the spectator roles, rules, the same thing apply to this event. Yeah, yeah and yeah. we've got that all listed on our right. events page. So yeah. backpacks and that kind of thing aren't yeah. allowed because we're right on no the weapons. race course. Don't, don't bring your no fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. Okay. Things that you think in this day and age people would know have to be explicit sense. about that. You right. know, yeah. Uh, it's the whole... You know, it's almost like going into a sporting clear, yeah. see-through. But getting there is, you know, we want people to feel like they can figure out mm -hmm. how to get there pretty easily. Mm -hmm. and, and I do encourage people to walk a mile or so this day. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, well you're the one-mile marker. We're at the one-mile so marker. if you see the start, then you just walk a mile. And right. the sidewalk goes to Only. our place, but there's a gap. So I would just say after 9 o'clock, be 
cognizant of the runners because they start right. every 15 minutes or so. Yeah. We have to be on the right side of the road to be able to, like from the center of town here in Hopkinton, to walk to Weston Nurseries. You've got to be on the, on the correct side the of the road. On the left side, actually, is to, the yeah, sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it goes the almost the whole way. So sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if, if somebody wants to walk or bike down there, you know, before yeah. 9, you should be fine because that's when the, the heats, different right. heats yeah. start. So mm -hmm. you yeah. can do that, too. Or if you mm -hmm. know a friend, you know, park in Legacy South or park uptown at your friend's house. So where, and walk. where will, yeah. if you do drive, where will parking be in and around the venue? So we're going to have our wholesale yard Got wide right. open for a parking. Wide open. So back up there. So that's in, in the there. back, yep. way in back of our garden center. So mm -hmm. you're going to yeah. come in. It's almost like walking a mile anyhow. That no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be 1,500 feet. It'll be a, a quarter mile <laughs> walk. <laughs> Not quite a mile. And we'll have golf carts if people need assistance. Yeah. We'll bring people oh, up that way. Not of everything. Yeah, we have. They're brand new to us or used, but we have three yeah. golf carts. Oh, cool. So our staff will be out there telling you where to park, mm -hmm. nice and easy. If you need a ride, we'll give you a ride. Mm -hmm. But you come in off of, you got to get to the north side after 7 o'clock. Right. Either by the Pike or 495, get off on the Route 9 exit, right. 85 South, Porterville mm -hmm. Road. Right. Yeah. Okay. Howe Street, which is really Wilson Street. Yeah, my parents live, My parents' house is on Corville. Cut down Howe. It's how, just over the back roads, yeah. and it's no police over officers Street, along this yeah. route yeah. at all. Yeah. And you come right in. Right. It's yeah. a county yeah. 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 the back that's how I way. You actually come yeah, in the Ashland know this way. side of the state park, and then okay. cut in. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then you cut in on Cross Street there, and then Franklin. Past the old dump. And then we're off of Franklin. The old dump. So if you want to go past that old dump, just keep going straight, and don't take a left on Cross You'll come to Legacy North. There will be a police officer there. Right. Mm -hmm. They'll let you through. Just Tell say you're coming you're to going. this. Yeah. I mean, you'll have I just want to point out they've yeah. been terrific. The yeah. police are totally in support of this yeah. event. Well, I'm sure and I've showed awesome. them everything. It's been transparency yeah. all the way. So. Very cool. Very cool. How exciting. Yeah. And I mean, is the goal of this to become an annual event? <laughs> yeah, I don't call it the first annual, but... <laughs> It, You'll see. Inaugural, that's what it is. Inaugural, inaugural right. Inaugural. Okay. I think it'll succeed. Um, I think one thing to also note is that this, this event's going to go off rain or shine. Okay. Yeah. You know, the bands, are, are you have tents over the staging and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the rest the of marathon you, goes off rain or shine. That's right. right. It's, that's right. It could be 45 or 75 oh this day. Or 80. We've had, we've had, we've had the whole yeah. range. Yeah, we don't know. It could be a typhoon. The yeah. event's still happening. <laughs> it's happening. we got a 60 by 40 tent. I can get a bigger one last minute if I need to, if I know it's going to pour. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can move things into that. But mm -hmm. there'll be seating for about 200 people in there. Well, let's mm -hmm. wow. ask for good weather from the clear the, skies. You know, least. the yeah. weather gods mm -hmm. and... Uh, Hopefully we'll have one of those. Well, they the runners want it to be 55 and drizzly. Yeah. yeah they but, like but yeah. I'd go 60, 65. 65 would Very be perfect, pleasant. right? Nice. Little Warming up a little nice. bit a little later. Yeah. 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 Will, um, Not too much. Will the trains be running for kids and all that that day, yep. too? I yeah, we should have those trains. running. And today yep. is, today's Good Friday. It's also Passover. But um, you actually have other things going on this weekend at Weston Nurseries. Well, the Easter Bunny's coming mm -hmm. yeah, on yeah. Saturday. And here he comes to town. He He's comes hopping, hopping in. in. Hopped yeah. in last year. This is our second annual Easter Bunny. I uh, love started that. that last year, and a lot of kids okay. came down. We have a great venue, like where we put our Santa Claus every year in that yeah. third yeah. greenhouse. That's where the Easter Bunny. That's is going. where the Easter Bunny. Oh. So it's all yeah. decked Come out. Come out and see that. So it's, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's you know, if it's yeah. yeah. And the Easter Bunny be, will be there when? Uh, Saturday. Ten to two, I think, on Saturday. 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 Middle of the day. So on people yeah. can do that after the first. Easter egg hunt on the commons on yeah. Saturday morning. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do that. Go, then see, go the, see the, the fellow who hit all those yeah. Easter eggs. And go see the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, he go. comes and rests at your place because he has a chair and everything like that. <laughs> right. He needs a break. He's he up all break. night. He's up hiding eggs everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow morning is the Easter egg hunt on the commons. Please, parents, let your children hunt the eggs. Please don't hunt them for them. <laughs> oh, God. I can't tell you how many parents think that they're for it. I was like, oh, my God, let your kids do it. They'll be okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, one woman was hilarious on the Facebook page when she said, hey, how about this? You know, uh, tell your kids you, you've hidden eggs oh. and then don't, and then say April Fool's. Oh. On, like, on Easter mean, Sunday. Mommy, on Easter Sunday, <laughs> you know. Isn't that weird? That's yeah, mean. That's, that a, was that's a bad mommy it stuff. It wasn't yeah. serious. I know. We all cracked up. It was funny. <laughs> no one's doing that. But. Well, there's actually a little like uh, video web link of um, tricks to do for your kids on Easter Sunday yeah. with food. And one was like um, those cake pop things. Yeah. Um, this woman um, breaded liver and um, right. then rolled oh, it. Oh, for then, then April rolled, Fool's Then rolled jokes. it in frosting and jimmies. Or chocolate, oh. chocolate covered Brussels sprouts is a little less nasty. Oh, thing. my gosh. You got to get that on, on video. No, yeah. April no. Fool's. 
But so what uh, else is going on in town, Darlene, yeah. just in general? Well, tonight's the uh, the soul event at uh, Soul Dance Party over at HCA. You've heard about that? I mean, it's a big band that's playing all this great music. It's actually a local band. It's yeah. uh, the, uh, Patrick Voucher. Mm -hmm. um, he's great. I mean, and um, so it's going to be like Power of Tower, Chicago. Tower of Power, like, yeah. Tower of Power. I love them. Yeah. Well, well I mean, tomorrow they're night. Band, aren't they? Well, yeah, from the back in the day, but and, they played um, this music. Yeah. That's oh. what and they're it covered starts with. at 8 o'clock. It's actually fairly reasonable. I think it's either 20 or 25 bucks. Right. Um, they'll have some snacks out there, but it's cash, cash, cash bar, bar and, and a good dance and just, spot. Uh, just tonight. a dance spot and a mm -hmm. chance to hang out. And I, I know about like, actually a cool amount of people going, and it's kind of a different eclectic crowd than has normally gone to some of these HCA bigger events, yeah. that this is like attracting different people to try it. Yeah. Um, Hot Acoustics is, is playing, playing tomorrow at night at Fireflies. Fireflies. They're yeah. on standby. Great venue and love Great the time. local band. Yeah. Great mm. dancing. Um, what around the schools, though? What's going on? Um, <laughs> got I don't know. Well, not a whole lot since like they're the, the this is the week they're going into the week right before April vacation. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a wind down right. week. It's they're you know, off today. Good yeah, they're yep. off. The oh, schools right. are off today, and then they have um, some sort of stuff. they have some stuff going on next week. More just kind of wrapping up, getting ready for vacation. They they've just well, gone through. They just, through, they, they just well, they just went through all the band concerts. The mm -hmm. art uh, the high school art show was at HCA That's last right. week uh, that I was at. It was fabulous, and um, there's a, there'll be the whole townwide school art show in a couple in a few weeks but a lot of it happens right before now and then this is kind of a lull oh, and then when they come the marathon and then when they come back from vacation it's literally seniors getting ready for senior week and their exams and they're out of there by like I mean graduation this year is on June 1st wow. yeah. so senior weeks all the activities from start like May 23rd yeah. nice. but there's a lot happening coming up in April and, and I know a couple of our shows will be introducing it but there's mm -hmm. um, some art exhibits art and so forth exhibits so the Whitehall tour is on um, the 28th and we're gonna have uh, a couple of the artists on, yeah. um, on a show upcoming um, I just found out last night that we are actually now and you probably know all this already is that we have now become centralized as a tick zone in the state and, oh. and so one of the people that will be coming on the show uh, in a few weeks is actually talking about how the town is looking um, to protect us for mosquitoes, ticks, and things like that, and how the Board of Health is actually looking at this as oh, a very wow. serious issue in Hoffington now. Yikes. Yeah. They suck. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Not the suck. Board of Health. Yeah. Intended, right? <laughs> ticks suck. No. Uh, well, I mean, elections are coming up. Um, Town, Town meeting. meeting is coming up. That's basically, you know, the carnival democracy that we live in. It's great. <laughs> it's, uh, on that subject, we, we bought, uh, this past year, we bought a uh, tick tester. So if you do get bit by a tick, you bring that tick in. Oh. And you can bring it in to see if it has Lyme disease. That's, our that's uh, wonderful. Amazing. So we've got these little kids. So you just have a whole lot of people bringing dead bugs to you. Well, gardeners <laughs> love to be outside. And yeah. Yeah. I get yeah. bit, no joke. Four or five times a year, I get okay. ticks. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. You can't Never had Lyme disease. Yeah, somehow. well, knock on wood. Somehow. Me I mean, neither. She has. I have, but my daughter's had like several very bad bouts, and mm. it's been debilitating. It's so debilitating. And it's, it is. And it's not just. It's always different for everybody. That's yeah. the thing. You yeah. don't know you have it. It's the symptoms are so strange. It's right. not consistent. Well, the other bit is our pets also um, yeah. get bitten, and and a lot of pets, um, and Lyme disease can have serious repercussions for them too. our dogs so had Lyme disease twice yeah. my dog well, as well and unfortunately yeah. it you know it, it manifests itself in strange ways too so that's so. good that the town is yeah. finally doing yeah and, I, and I think you know we're now looking at spring finally it seems like the weather's breaking it's going to hit 60 today <laughs> yeah. means, snow. Means, means you're going to get very busy I gotta what tell is, you it's going to come the, on like a freight train once, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> between, yeah, wait, once people between, clean the brush off their grass now, oh my god and get rid oh, of the trees oh, and I, can I say on the yes, show absolutely. Oh, yeah. we are bringing in anyone who wants to bring brush because everybody oh. has a pile oh, we're really? accepting it at no charge oh okay. that's in wonderful our, uh, for Hopton residents in our, in that our would be great both that's material yard which is close to Clinton Street yeah. across the street from Clinton oh, Street thanks there. for mentioning that yeah I wanted to mention that oh everybody has called John Westerling he was supposed to let everybody know we've had a bunch of calls but this is the weekend. People should start really bringing yeah, it in because you can get out in your we yard have a finally. Huge branch. Well, we and and you can the, still burn. Um, you know, you can do your backyard burns yeah, for they, a while. Yeah, the town wanted to make it known that you they're you have not going to collect it, but you can get a permit to burn it. Yeah, you bring it to let the fire department know. Or you can know. have a landscaper clean it up for yeah, you. Yeah. Or if you want to do it yourself, borrow a friend's truck, whatever. We'll take it in. Yeah. Okay. I think Harvey's will take it in, but I'm not sure yeah. what their deal is. But yeah. we'll take it in. 
Yeah. So that's how, very how, how are the PJMs coming for this spring? They are already oh, landed. We've got trees coming landed. in, so shrubs coming in. You've got to explain what that is. He will for say those it. who don't know, tell us about what are PJMs. Peter John Mezzet, his stands for. It's my great grandfather's initials, and that's the plant uh, that blooms in mid to late April every year, and it's mm -hmm. a light purple plant. It's everywhere. People right. but it's, rhododendron. It's small a, leaf rhododendron. Yeah. It's, and, and so it's very diminutive in its leaf. And the flowers are the same. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's especially. It's a sign of spring if there ever was one for yeah. me right. personally. Yeah. I mean, and I think it's it's also a sign of spring that it's very prevalent in our community. So many people have them. I know so many yeah. people get them as gifts. I know we've given them as people as welcome. You yeah. know, moving to Hopping and gifts yeah. that people we've right. known. We actually go buy one because it's kind of a it's, signature. It was invented here. So. Yeah. And it's hardy for this zone because mm -hmm. we're in one of the tougher Very zones. Very hardy. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's also important. Um, are you guys doing mulch this year? Yeah, so, you know, when we ask people to bring in brush, we're going to show them, by the way, we have some mulch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now we're, and we now turn we're, the brush into this. Crazy. <laughs> we do. We grind up brush. We grind up bark. We make yep. our own mulches, two or three of them. We make our own compost, which is certified oh, for wow. use in organic food production. That's wow. great. It took a year to get that, and yeah. it's because we run a very clean facility. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we also have our own topsoil, and we have our own leaf compost mulch. Wow. This is awesome. That's so you put that so down rich. as a mulch, but it's rich in nutrients. <gasps> nice. Patrick, who runs our bulk material yard, he he gets all the credit in the world because he came up with this product, and oh, landscapers love it. Love it. I lo yeah. Wow. So this will happen on Monday, April 16th, and the tickets are actually on Weston's um, site. Right. So if you go to Weston Nursery's website, you can get your tickets now. It also has an information page on there on everything on this. Yeah. And, um, We'll be promoting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Cheers you. Thank so you. much Thank for being you. here. Appreciate Peter. it. I'm Cheers. Empty. Congrats. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, a family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org.